and happy new year it's still new year's eve here in the uk in england so i thought i'd quickly sneak in and pop on say happy new year and go back <laughs> go back to my living room <laughs> it's lovely to have your company and thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're new i'm coming on for an end of year chit chat and just to show off some of the lovely oh my word what's going on it's plain advert it's oh I've got you up on another device and it's gone it's playing adverts i don't want adverts i only wanted you to come on to show me the comments you can't i got my snazzy um look i put my glitzy waistcoat on for you as well my ears have gone red must be warm and my screen's a little bit mucky so let's just there and can you see my dealy boppers as well <laughs> okay so great to have you along. I've got some people joining me live, which is fantastic. And hi to those of you watching this after us on replay. Now, recently I had a conversation with my sister at Artful Stamping. And we were saying, you know, she wears glasses now. I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned that you can see my ears popping out. Um, <clears throat> and we were saying that, because I don't wear glasses, I don't need glasses at the moment. But we were saying how much different it makes your face look and you've got a focal point. So I, I thought I'd just wear these for tonight. <laughs> okay, we'll just we'll just do these ones. So um okay. So I'm here just to um see my regulars and to wish you a happy new year. Some of you are celebrating already in Australia and New Zealand. So happy new year to you. Um I'll I'll get a bit more deeper and a bit more serious at the end of the live, but for now we'll just let people come in and say hello. And I wanted to show off the I think this year I've had the most handmade cards, um, particularly in the post, ever. And it's been lovely to receive them. I've even received one today. So um, it just managed to sneak in there before I did the live. I know they're like day Edna. I won't bother doing the impression just now. So welcome. Great to see you. So many people on. It's lovely to see you. Thank you. Right, let's let's get on, shall we? And we can show you... Um, what we've got so it's kind of no particular order i've just kind of gone in size order so starting with the smaller cards and then going towards the large so i'm going to say hello to you all you lot in a minute and let's just turn around and take the focus off me okay don't don't look at the desk okay my stand just bear with me i'm just going to try and twist that so you don't see so much of my stand sorry i've been had to make a last minute card today for a challenge and i'm a bit disorganized so um hence the mess on my desk but we're not looking at my messy desk tonight you know every good crafter has a, should have a messy desk so okay let's get you zoomed away zoomed in a little bit okay let's do a quick roll call as they call it uh vicky was patiently waiting to come on great to see you vicky happy new year and carol darlene susan carol beverly kayleen christine shirley norma and jennifer you spent your, yesterday tidying your craft room. Now, this one, I must admit, wasn't to me. It was to one of my sons. Um, but this is from my mother-in-law, and she does beautiful um, cross-stitch. Over the years, she's um, done less and she's taken to knitting, but she um, does lovely cross-stitch uh, tags at Christmas. So what we've done is we've taken to saving those tags now, and we t try and reuse them, which is a great way to do things with handmade things so don't go chucking things away you can either reuse them repurpose them or just you know recycle or do something with them this next one was from the pastor's wife and she's done a lovely job of using glittery fimo can you see that gold glitter in there to make her own christmas decoration which she's attached to a card i think that's really super sweet she's done a good job there Ah, oh, Kayleen said she started with cross stitch cards 30 years ago. Vicky's room is very tidy. Yeah, I've done a bit of cross stitch over the years. Now, this one was from a lady who I met online actually through another, um, not a crafting uh, page, it was a fan club type page for something else. And we've kept in touch over the years, which is lovely. And she's a Christian. So 
we swapped cards this year and she's made that one so that's lovely this one came all the way from Germany this is from the lovely Martina and a lovely image here um, almost like a cement um, statue image which is very pretty and of course her trademark is embossing so that's a lovely card from the lovely Martina I'm just going to lift you up a bit because I'm going to inevitably knock you now, I think this was the first Christmas card I got um, from abroad and this is from Cindy Cindy Nelson um, I'm just checking inside to see if there's oh look hand stamped and she's put the date on the back that's, that's very useful that's really pretty she's done a lovely three layers there so I'm not going to spend like ages and ages on cards it's just to, for you to get inspiration and for me to say thank you for sending and to show you what I got this is from a um, long-term friend of ours who has obviously got some stamping out goodies and look she's even stamped the back <laughs> love it um love the colors in this lovely vintage look to it with the snowflakes oh sorry that's not from sorry wrong cindy i think i've got the wrong cindy this is from cindy nilson which cindy gave me that one if it's you hands up <laughs> sorry I, I get a little bit confused with people with the same names and it's <laughs> I love the simplicity of this card but a lovely soft colour wash on those um ornaments and the holly I'm lost for words now I'm not even you know had anything to drink yet <laughs> maybe that's the issue here <laughs> so thank you Cindy this came today from Germany another lovely um demo that I've met um via the internet and this comes from <clears throat> the lovely Steffi. I've not even turned off notifications on here. I'm in trouble. Let's turn this off. There we go. Okay. And um, I love how she's used the um, the die cutting as a stencil, and she's ombre. Such a really cool effect. Deborah, I hope you've got a late note. Um. I'm just checking to see if I've missed any comments. Ah, oh, Cheryl's saying Happy New Year from Florida fans. Thank you, Cheryl. Yes, the cross stitch card is very sweet, isn't it? I think there's another one. Hey, Kimberly, how lovely to see you. What a nice surprise. So, um, <clears throat> this was a very unexpected card from somebody who I didn't even know watches me. I'm not going to read the note, but her name is Julia. And Julia, if you're catching up on watching this, thank you so much for this beautiful uh, packet, which had something inside. And again, she's got detail on the back as well. And I think this stamping is gorgeous. And I love the way that she's got a lovely little red trim just along the top there as well. Beautiful. This one is from another long-term friend of mine. And she's done some stenciling in the middle, a couple of stickers on the side. Lovely and simple from my friend Jenny. So thank you, Jenny. Now, you may recognise this card from a certain somebody. This is from my sister, Artful Stampin', and this is um, made by Ruth. And you can actually see the making of this card on one of her videos, where she's stamped on some thick cardboard, and she's cut it up and put the white detail on it to make these cards. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to clear my throat. Um, another one from my mother-in-law and my father-in-law has his hand in the card making as well so he does the die cutting and then jazzes it up with a bit of embossing and actually puts the card together it's very clever he sticks the insert over the front panel so you don't see all the mess behind it so if you ever do cross stitch you know how long these things take to do so it's very much appreciated i mean not saying that stamped cards don't i'm just saying that it's a different craft isn't it now this was a joy to get this is from one of my downline called rosie and it's so nice to see rosie's work in person and this was using that lovely snowflake stamp set in this seat in this um year's catalogue and she's um done some beautiful gold embossing as well gorgeous well done rosie lovely card now this one was stunning from my friend Gina 
Gina Gibson. And um, it's on pearlescent paper as well. I don't think the light will catch that. But in person, this is just so sparkly and shiny, um, but not overly done. It's just lovely. And I love the kind of snowflake embossing in the background. These lovely glitzy flowers on here. So thank you, Gina, for the message inside. I said to somebody recently, sometimes when you send cards, you forget what you've written inside. <laughs> well, I know I do. So I sent her the message she wrote inside to remind her. <laughs> because sometimes I write stuff, which is obviously heartfelt, but um, sometimes I forget what I've written. So people will say to me, oh, thank you for, you know, what you wrote. I'm like, oh, that's okay. I can't remember now. <laughs> This one was all the way from Australia from the lovely Ellen Woodbridge and you can check out her YouTube channel. She turns up loads of her Facebook lives and you can catch her on Facebook as well as YouTube. I love the way she's used all these different um, strips here of paper which are great samples of the different designer series paper that Stampin' Up! do and it's got that lovely gold foiling that's catching the light and that lovely stamp set that came in this year for Unto Us and it had that sentiment in it. This is beautiful, I love this card. Um, this came again from Australia, and a friend who we met online, so this is the lovely Vicky, who's hopefully still with us, and I love the colours. I keep meaning to use these colours, and I, the great thing about these cards is I can keep them for inspiration. Hopefully next year I'll try. I love the idea of this rustic kind of crumb cake with the brown and the red, the pop of red and the white, just beautiful combination. So well done, Vicky. And it's, um, oh, she cased it from the catalogue. It doesn't matter. It is stunning in real life. I love it. And it um, might be Vicky's birthday very, very soon. Oh, this is um, another one from um, a different downline, the lovely Levine, who can be found on Facebook. And Levine takes such care in her work. Hi there, Janice. I saw you sneaking in there. Um, and she's very a very precise crafter and I love seeing the way in which Levine grows in confidence each year and it just makes me smile and I love this card, it's so fun, I love the red and white stripe and that snowman peeking out, isn't he fab? Now this one, I've just got to check who it's from, I think this is from Linda. And she's put a little message inside and I'll let you stare at that while I just check this. So um, apparently I set a challenge. <laughs> I think it was a while ago on my Facebook group. Uh, it was probably uh, just trying to read the message. Turn my. Yes. Now, Lynn, I think this is from Linda. I'm sure this is from Linda. Um, Linda did something quite unique. And she turned her card inside out like this when it was posted to me. And um, she said it was to protect that beautiful star and the little embellishments on the top. And apparently I set a challenge which was to use one stamp set and three colours. So she's managed to achieve that in this beautiful card. And again, you probably, I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera but this whole section here is covered in glittery Winkostella. you might be able to see that another gorgeous card just goes to show that you don't need a lot of colors doesn't it and you can really make some beautiful cards i'm sorry if i've missed any comments um no i haven't i don't think great now this one has got a lot of work gone into it you've got the three trees and you've got the outline of the trees and this lovely wood grain background in the red, which I probably wouldn't have thought to do. I know it sounds silly, but, you know, whenever you think wood grain, you think probably brown. Well, I would. But I love the thinking outside of the box. And this is from Ian. Um, Stampin' with Ian. And he's on YouTube as well. Nice to have some male crafters in the Stampin' Up! world. And um, again, Ian is another um, friend that we met online uh, via a social media platform so that was from the lovely Ian thank you very much and let me check ah yes 
this is <laughs> now this is from a friend called joe and joe was trying to decide what stamp set to get and i recommended this stamp set to her so it was so lovely to see her actually using this and making up her own cards and again it's got some lovely hints of sparkle on here that you can catch and it's just nicely nestled in this um, in the nested frames dies so she's done a great job of scene building there and a bit of double stamping which is good to see ah oh, hi linda now do just shout if i've got the wrong person to the wrong card i'm really sorry <laughs> okay just saying thank you jennifer happy new year to you as well so this lady I met once, um, she's a, an older lady, but she's very young at heart. She's very lovely. And um, I, yeah, due to lockdown and I think for health reasons, she won't be coming back to my workshops. But it's so nice to keep in touch with her and to still have that contact with people that you've met just maybe once. So it's, um, this is from a lady called Marlene and she has glitzied up the... Um, the trees and the the roof on this with the snow which probably isn't picking up and I love this because it's monochromatic I am a fan of monochrome um Cindy I've showed your card you missed it <laughs> um so it looks like I don't know if this is um maybe she's used a different pink but it does look very similar to our magenta madness so lovely well done Marlene now this was one of my first Christmas cards I got in the present I'm just going to move these ones over I don't want you to no spoilers and this is a beautiful um Z fold card and so a lot of work has gone into this a lot of embossing <coughs> excuse me and die cutting and even we've got glittery paper underneath the stars and the moon there so this is from a dear friend called Ellie. So thank you so much, Ellie. She could be found on Facebook at Elementary Craft, Paper Crafts, I think it is. Um, I don't think her details are, no, her details are on the back. So she always makes lovely big cards and it's a nice one to sit on your mantelpiece. Oh, Ellie, there you are. <laughs> Ellie, can you type in your Facebook page? Happy to share that. And if anybody's sent a card who I've shouted out tonight, please feel free to put in your YouTube channel or your Facebook, or if you've got a business name, then please feel free. This was a lovely card sent by someone in our wider team called Tracy. And she's done a lovely job here of um, not only the stamping, but the little details. It's lovely to have the finer details in these cards. So you can see those snowflakes sparkling away there. Each bell has a bow. Each bow is linked to a string and each string is linked to a little gem. So I love the fact that this card has got so many details and it's got a lovely silver DSP border as well. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is getting <coughs> a bit dry now that I'm speaking. Right, this isn't stamping up, but I do love the stamps on this card. And it's okay to appreciate stamps that come from other companies. <laughs> We're allowed. <laughs> um, and I, I, I like lots of things to this card. I love the little elements of the glitter underneath the boots and the snowdrops. And it's all encased in this wreath here. And this is from one of my... In fact, I met her... Th was it this year, I wonder? Um, a customer of mine called Claire... And it's great because great to see Claire's enthusiasm for the product. And again, although she hasn't managed to make it to many of my classes due to you know what, um, she is still a great customer and friend. And it's been really lovely to get to know Claire. So Claire, if you're watching, thank you very much. Beautiful card. And this one is from another customer. I love the blending on this. And I don't know if she has used different kind of paper whether it's watercolor paper but um i love the um blending i must find out how she's done that whether she's got some blending brushes or if she did it with uh, sponges and 
again, I like this little t accent here of a tag. And that's from a dear customer called Jackie, who's stuck with me over the years. And again, it's just great to get to know people better when you can have in-person classes. That's from my friend Jackie. Right, so this last card, last but not least, is not a handmade card, but it was just one that stood out to me um, amongst the cards because it's a print of somebody's work. So I'm just going to move that aside a little bit. And it's this one here. It says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it, which is a Bible verse. And this is from a print. And the lady's name's Madeline Pyers, who can be found at M Faith Art. And uh, it's a print of a watercolour and gold leaf on paper. And I just thought, oh, that's so different. And it's so nice to have a, um, a Christian based card for Christmas. So that was nice to receive. And that was from Matt's bosses, who are um, a Christian couple. So thank you to them for that card. So <laughs> I'm going to put my glasses back on there. Have a quick chat. Ooh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Aren't they? I'm just so overwhelmed with so many beautiful um, cards that I've received. I feel like Ruth, that's how she pushes her glasses up. I'm sure you could case that, says um, Vicky. Probably. Um, yeah, I didn't have any candle stamps, so um, I'm just trying to catch up on comments. Yeah, loads of creative cards, and I just it always amazes me that some people can have the same product and yet produce something completely different. So thank you so much if you um, sent a card this year, and um, or if you've sent well wishes, anything supported me through my channel it's been amazing I know let me okay this is the serious bit I'm going to take my dealy boppers and my <laughs> I know for many it has been a crazy year for some it's been really lonely for some it's been a very sad year for some it has been a positive year too and um you know we've got to be thankful for the blessings that we've been given and Hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so I do wish you a very happy new year. And we don't know what tomorrow brings, but I know who holds it. I believe that God holds the future and it's in his hands and um, it's things happen in his sovereign will and purpose. So um, my faith is in him. We've got to keep trusting that you know, whatever happens is all happening for a reason. And I just want to thank you for your support over the year. It's been so encouraging to have new subscribers and to have people watching along and commenting and to build up friendships and to get to know people better. And it's been amazing. Linda says, I would have gone bananas if it wasn't for my card making in Esther, Ruth and all of you. So true indeed true indeed so just a thank you really a really heartfelt thing I know I say thank you a lot but I do mean it and you know um, I, I heard a quote the other day something about um, about adult being an, I think it was off the Mandalorian <laughs> something about politeness I wish I could remember I should have written it down uh, Cindy says finding my UK stampers and other friends is the best part of 2020 love that Jennifer says my fifth grandson was born this year that's great let's fill this thread with positivity um I learned new things this year I've learned to do line drawing which is amazing I never would have discovered that things have changed with my job um stamping up is done well for me this year with having new team members which has been amazing I've managed to branch out and do different stuff with my business and learn a bit more about you know trying to take it more seriously as a business really so there's a lot of positive things to take out of this year thank you Janice she says happy new year Esther and all in here 
to you and your family, says Carol. Thank you. Happy New Year to all. Isn't it nice to just spread the love at the end of the year? And I thought I'd get on because I know lots of people will be going on and, you know, I'll get knocked down the pile a little bit. <laughs> and just to have a bit of your company for what will be the last of 2020. I'm not saying, you know, I think we've got to be realistic as well that, you know, 2021 isn't magically going to stop the C word from happening. But um, hopefully things will be looking up and, you know, let's just use our time wisely. <laughs> uh, Christine says, thanks for saying that, Esther, because I get paranoid admitting I like and indeed use other companies' products. It's OK. It's OK to use other people's products. I think if you're a sub product demonstrator, you've just got to be a bit cautious not to, kind of, you know, if you're trying to sell the product particularly, you might not want to be promoting other people's products so much. Deborah says, it's been difficult and lonely, but you were one of my blessings this year. Deborah, thank you. That's, that really means a lot. Thank you. Cindy says, happy, happy everything, y'all. <laughs> uh, Darlene says, thanks for being you and sharing. Happy New Year. Indeed, this is what you get if you come to my channel. <laughs> Just hopefully to bring a smile on your face, to share creativity. Sometimes, you know, a few minutes before I get on, might not feel like doing this and just like, but you know, when I come live, you know, I come alive <laughs> and it's just so nice to share and to, when you start creating with stamps, ink and paper, which is what I do here, it just opens, well, it, it kind of fo changes, shifts focus. Your focus is on something different and it, it does just take away your thinking on your problems or your worries or your pain, maybe. Not saying for everybody, saying it might. And whatever happened, you know, a few minutes beforehand, when you come to your craft desk and you can sit and make and create, it does help you to focus on what's in front of you rather than what's necessarily on your mind. So it is... Um, a therapeutic thing to do for me anyway and you know I'm here to share that with others and it's been really strange not meeting in person with people and doing in-person classes because half of it is just knocking off each other not just craft ideas but just finding out how somebody's week's been or how their month has been since the last time um they saw somebody so yeah from rambling <laughs> it's just quite nice to get on and chat to everybody Linda says she swings through the trees too <laughs> oh dear oh Christine th says thanks for your patience with me Esther oh you're welcome uh, Ellie says yes crafting helps a lot stops you dwelling on negativity yeah it does so what's planned for um 2021 uh linda says is it weird to say i'm gonna miss making christmas cards i may go through withdrawal <laughs> linda but now's the opportunity for me to let you all know about a, a challenge site on facebook called christmas stampathon 2021 which and they will change over soon and we'll be setting challenges for the next 10 months to get sorted for Christmas. I know it sounds mad, but honestly, it's been so worth it. It's got me geared up to make Christmas cards this year and I'm so thankful. Um, oh, Cheryl. Cheryl says, you are our sunshine. You make us so happy with your infectious smile and laughter and amazing videos. Can't wait for another year of you. Oh, that's really kind. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Yes, if somebody can type in the um, Christmas Stampathon 2021, if you maybe type in Christmas Stampathon, hopefully you'll be able to find it. Oh, well done, Kayleen. Now, if anybody wants to join my group, it's a place to share anything that's Stampin' Up! related um, or any techniques or um, inspiration that you've got or made from seeing me. Somewhere under my pile is the name of my group and if you want to pop along you can but you need to know that uh, 
who created the group <laughs> and why you're there. <laughs> now somewhere I'm going to try and find it because I know I wrote it out in handwriting. I've just got to find the piece of paper. Oh, typical isn't it? When you look for something. Well that's the scruffy writing. I thought I had it written better than that. Maybe that's the one that I was thinking of. Oh well. I'll show you the scruffy one. Is that coming out backwards? I don't think it is. SSC inspired and shared is what you're looking for. Okay. Yes, Christmas Stampathon starts again. Um, so it's me and Ellen back again. Plus we've got Ruth and Denise and I've forgotten her name. I'm so sorry, you're an Australian demo. And I can't remember your name, but we've got some more people joining us this year, which would be great. Uh, Kayleen says she's already decided to start making a few Christmas cards each week for this year, so I don't get into overwhelm. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to type in the name of the group, and this is on Facebook. Okay. Nessa says, what have I missed? Only everything, Nessa. <laughs> So I've shown all the Christmas cards, you've missed the Dealey Boppers and you've missed my stonker of glasses, my day met my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going to have to go and love you and leave you. I'm going to get changed out of my sparkly waistcoat Nessa that I wore especially which usually comes up for a school event that I helped to run, which never happened this year, of course. Ah, let's cross like grass. Hi, Renee. Oh, good morning and happy new year. I'm about to head off. I better put my glasses back on to impress the lovely Renee. And my Union Jack Cadilly Boppers, which I've got to bend down for because you can't see them otherwise. Ah, oh, super duper. Thank you so much for keeping me company. It's been so nice to see you all and um, I'll be back hopefully next Tuesday, which is a bit mad, but I'm um, hopefully back to some sort of sort of normality ish. Um, I was hoping to come on <clears throat> and do a few more lives, but it's just not happened. It's been nice just to chill, but also to get some other jobs done at home, you know, needs must. Um, oh, there's just one more thing to tell you that tomorrow the uk stamp around uk video hop will go live at six o'clock my time so there'll be a video scheduled to go out tomorrow so you can check that out if you're not already <laughs> linda likes my glasses if you're not already subscribed to my channel you can subscribe so you can catch me crafting next time and you can catch my live videos as well as my pre-recorded videos and um, thank you for the 17 thumbs up we really, we? Who's we? The royal we, me, myself and I, <laughs> appreciate those thumbs up, the subscriptions, the comments, because do you know what? They really do help me out. It helps my statistics show me that, you know, and please, if you, not necessarily all of the videos, but if there's one particular video you think, oh, I really liked what Esther did there, I know somebody who would like to see that, please share it out to your crafty friends or people that might be interested because by sharing you know you're sharing showing me love by sharing show love by sharing okay lovely see you next year says cindy i know it's weird saying that isn't it see you next year and like renee and like vicky are already next year so hi in 2021 australia and new zealand <laughs> Right, so without further ado, Ness is going to catch up on the, the long replay, 40, 34 minutes worth of replay. <laughs> no worries. Okay, everybody, happy new year to you. Take care, be well, and um, yeah, God bless. Lots of love and prayers. Night night to you if you're sleeping, good morning to you if you're waking, and um, 
catch you all later. Bye.